Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. My name is Jo and I'm an independent cloud consultant based in Sydney, Australia. This is a video series which will help you prepare for your Azure AI Engineer Associate certification. We will go through questions very similar to the exam and discuss in detail each and every options provided. Before we dive into the question, I would highly recommend a basic understanding of Azure AI services to understand what we are going to discuss. Now regarding me, I just watched one training to prepare for the exam and with the help of the training, I passed the exam in the very first attempt. Although you can follow any trainings, I would highly recommend this one. I'll provide the link of the above training in the description box. So let's get into the video. Now to the question, you use the custom vision service to build a classifier. After training is complete, you need to evaluate the classifier. Which two metrics are available for review? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point, which means that there are multiple correct answers. Now the options are recall, F-score, weighted accuracy, precision, area under the curve or AUC. Let us break down the question. What are the keywords present in the question? So it is about a custom vision classifier. So it is a image classification model in custom vision they are talking about. And the training of the model is complete. And how can we evaluate the classifier? That is the need. We have to evaluate the classifier, evaluate the model, whether it is worth deploying. That is what the need is. And to know whether the model is worth deploying, which two metrics should you consider? So these are the options. And we have to select the correct metrics from the available options. Now let us go through the Microsoft documentation. So here you can see build an image classification model with the custom vision portal. It narrates the steps how to create an image classification model. When you scroll down, you can see one step is to train the classifier and then evaluate the classifier. After training is complete, the model's performance is estimated and displayed. The custom vision services uses the images that you submitted for training to calculate precision and recall. So note the keywords precision and recall. Precision and recall are two different measurements of effectiveness of a classifier. So the metrics we have to evaluate is precision and recall. Now what is precision and recall? Precision indicates the fraction of identified classifications that were correct. For example, if the model identified 100 images as dogs and 99 of them were actually dogs, then the precision would be 99 percentage. So that is precision. Now what is recall? Recall indicates the fraction of actual classifications that were correctly identified. For example, if there were actually 100 images of apples and the model identified 80 as apples, the recall would be 80 percentage. So that is a little bit complicated. Let us break down what they are trying to say. Now, what is precision? Precision measures how many of the identified classifications were actually correct. Let us straight go into the example. So you have a classifier model and you have n number of images and the images is that of cat and dogs and you ask the model to identify these images and the model predicted that. So it is the prediction of the model that 100 images is that of dog. Among the n number of images you gave to me, the 100 images among them is that of dog. Then now you are verifying what the model said is correct or not. So when you are verifying it, you found that 99 images is actually that of dog. The model is correct. But one is not that of dog. It is that of a cat. But the model said that image is also that of a dog. But it is actually a cat image. So one image is misclassified. Which means it is false positive. Here the positive is dog. And that image is identified as dog. But originally the image is that of a cat. So it is a false positive. The model misclassified one image. So that is false positive. That is what is precision is all about. Now to the formula, it is true positive, which is 99, which is actually dog divided by true positive. Again, 99 plus false positive. That is one. It gave one image as false positive. So that is what is 
precision is so precision measures how many of the identified classifications were actually correct that is what is precision now to recall A recall measures how many of the actual items were correctly identified straight to the example there are 100 images of apples in the data set so we are providing 100 images to the model and the model and all these 100 images is that of apple now the model identifies 80 as apple so the model says oh 80 of these images are apple but actually 100 images were that of apple the model was only able to identify 80 as apple the other 20 it was not able to identify or it put into another category whatever it is only 80 it was able to identify and the other 20 is false negative although it is positive for apple the model said it is negative it is not apple so it is false negative so how we are calculating a recall rate true positive which is 80 divided by true positive again 80 plus false negative how many false negatives did the model give 20 so that is 80 divided by 100 80 percentage is the recall rate in this example so recall is how many actual items were correctly identified in the given images how many of them was actually correctly identified that is what is recall rate is now i think recall and precision is clear to you we can go to the next options f1 score is computed as the weighted average of precision and recall now the other option given is weighted accuracy it considers both the number of correct predictions and how well the model handles class imbalances now what is area under the curve measures how well the model separates different classes let's get back into the question so which two metrics are used to evaluate the custom vision classifier model so which are the two metrics the correct answer is recall and precision according to the documentation precision and recall are two different measurements of the effectiveness of a classifier so the correct answer is option a and option d correct answer is recall and precision by the way, I'll provide the link to this documentation in the description box below. So what did we learn from this question? We learned about precision and recall. Now to the next question. You have created an object detection project named My Detection Project. You trained the custom vision model and following is the performance of the model based on training data. Select the most appropriate choice for each statement provided based on the information in the image let us have a look at the image so this is the image and here are the options now let us break down the question what it is actually asking what are the keywords so you have an object detection project in custom vision and we have already trained the model and this image shows the performance of the model based on the training now we have to select the most appropriate choice for each statement provided so it is a custom vision object detection model and what is shown in the image is the evaluation metrics of the model. So what is there in the image? The image shows the precision rate, the recall rate and MAP or the mean average precision. So we have already seen what precision and recall is. Now let us get into the options. The percentage of false positives is. So from the image, can you get the percentage of false positive? So just think which one is related to false positive. Is it precision or recall? I'll give you two seconds. Which rate is related to false positive? And yes, you guess correct. It is precision. Precision is calculated based on the false positive. So if we look here, precision is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive. If the precision rate is 99 percentage, then the false positive is 1 percentage. 1 is the false positive if precision is 99 percentage. So what if the precision is 100 percentage? The precision is 100, then the false positive is 0. There is no false positives. So what will be the answer to this question? The percentage of false positive is the precision is 100 percentage. So the false positive is Zero. Now the next question, the value for the number of true positives divided by the total number of true positives and false negative 
is. So what is this? I'll give you two seconds to guess. What is true positive divided by true positive and false negative? What is it? Yes, you guessed correct. It is recall. So if we go back here, recall is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative. So if the recall is 80 percentage, then false negative is 20, 20 percentage. So that is how it is calculated. Now, what is the recall here? It is 66.7. Now, what does the question ask? Question ask the value of recall. The value for the number of true positives divided by the total number of true positives and false negative. So what is it? Recall. What is the value of recall? So this statement boils down to recall. So the value for the recall is 66.7 according to this image. So the percentage of false positive is 0 and the recall rate is 66.7. Now the correct answer is 0 and 66.7. Now I believe precision and recall rate is clear to you. So in this video we learned about precision and recall and how these are calculated.